four decades, if things get a little tough around Tucson, only two words are necessary. Bear down. And that's what the Arizona Wildcats hope to do in front of their homestanding fans today. A late season top 25 matchup on hand with a couple of college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see the number 24 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on the ninth ranked team in the land, the Arizona Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Trojans will put total weather to crank us up. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Arizona Wildcats offense will have the first possession of the game. And this guy is a big-time star. Just an electricity follows him onto the field. He's a workhorse, too, Reese. This is a definition of a bell cow running back. He can carry the load for his offense and put his football team on his back. From the gun, running back gets to give. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. He'll pull it down and run. And it's loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Fumbles are great when you force them, and you're always thinking about it as a defensive player. But, man, when the weather conditions start to come down, it starts to rain, and you know that ball's a little bit slick, and you know more runs are coming, you really try to get to that football. Nice job getting the football out, falling on top of it, forcing the turnover. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And with this place rocking, the crowd forces a false start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Makes a man miss. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Looking to throw, it's Moss. Unloads to the wide out. And you just don't expect your junior quarterback to get fooled and to throw it into double coverage like that. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23. And this D would love to force a field goal try. Pressure coming. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And this one will be a 40-yard try from the left hash. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. They coughed it up on that last drive, but the defense really bailed them out, holding him to a field goal, Jesse. Yeah, and I think the offense kind of got away from their identity a little bit on that last drive, David. They got to kind of get back to doing what they do. Yeah, and hold on to the football. I mean, defense just did their... And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. Well, this guy's really feeling it. Of course, last week he had two sacks, and here he is in this one registering his first. This guy very quickly is making a name for himself as one of the best pass rushers in college football. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Back to pass. It's Fafita. 
forced to just throw it away on third down, and now they face fourth. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. First one of the day is booted away. They ran him out there four times in the victory last week. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Blasted as he lets it go. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. He's looking to pass. And the missed connection on third down. The Trojans will put this one away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Able to get the first one of the day away, they did have to send him out three times in that victory last week. They'd love to put a long drive together here as they start from their own 21. The gift to the back. Bulls his way forward. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Fast motion from the offense. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grabbed on the outside, it's Murphy. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Arizona runs out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch is called for. You want to make sure that you field it cleanly in rainy weather like this. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They'll give it to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. False start. False start. False start. False start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Line getting set on second down. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. Turns it on in midfield. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. And the Trojans want to move quickly. Man, that is so tough. When you play defense, you get your eyes on your keys and you got to read them, but sometimes they lie to you. You can see the little misdirection by this offense. Fooled the defense, created some space. The offense took advantage and made a huge play. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. Here's the handoff. Powers through the defender. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. Ball at the 31, third and short coming. Defense trying to rise up. Now the play fake. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. And don't get it twisted. A big part of this team's formula for success defensively is getting after the quarterback. In their last game, they had six sacks, won the game. They know they've got to be able to get after the QB in this one. Put some pressure on them, and they're already off to a great start. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Temple is ahead right now in South Philly, but this game is a long way from being over. Better hold off on the run to Geno's for the time being. They're up by seven over West Virginia. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Bringing it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They're bringing heat. And the sack all the way back at the five. This is a tough part of the field. You want to try to create some space and 
and give yourself an opportunity not to throw out of your own end zone. They didn't hold up in protection. They give up the sack, but thank goodness they didn't give up a safety. They'll come to the line and try to get out of this mess on second down from the five. On the run, it's Conley. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Getting some heat. Fires to the wideout. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. Playing the field position game as he makes the fair catch right at the 50. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. The quick feet, the acceleration, the vision, and he works his way to the 44. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Snagged on the outside, it's Robinson. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. A shot for the end zone. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag, and the D might have been a little too rough on the quarterback there. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them, but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Second down coming up. Free snap motion in the backfield. Dropping back, it's Moss. Finds his big tight end. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. And you can give all the credit to the crowd for that one. Offense, no chance and call for the false start. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. Looking to throw it again. Feeling some heat. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone. You're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kick. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. And the holder will place it down on the left hash. A 47-yard try coming. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Leaves it with the back. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Off play action. Grab behind the line. It's Murphy. And they pick up just a few on that completion. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. 
Trying to burn this defensive back. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Arizona runs out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Wouldn't call it a shank, but I don't think he'll include it on his greatest hits. And after that punt, that's where they'll mark it. It'll be just inside the 35-yard line. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. He's got the tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. The short hands. It's Robinson. And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. With the catch, it's O'Neal. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Defense way over eager there, and now the entire playbook just opens up before the eyes of this offensive coordinator. Fires to the tight end. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. The Trojans come to the line with a new set of downs. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Nice move there. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And the Trojans will move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. False start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They believe they can run right here. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Line getting set on second down. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. Throws to the wideout. He caught it. He gets it in. Touchdown, USC. They want to finish the season strong, and man, are they doing that here in this Week 11 performance. That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A 67-yard touchdown drive there. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Not a chance he lets that one go. He's bringing it out. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wide out. He's open on the right. He finally goes out of bounds after the explosive play, but now the question is, did the official see something to bring it back? Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Grabbed in the middle, it's Murphy. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Got his man downfield. 
Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. The emotions and energy figure to be high all day, guys, because of what's at stake this late in the season. Really a must win for both teams. Yeah, these are the ones that get your blood moving, Reese. You get jacked up, man. They're, they're, we don't have to say anything in the locker room, give these big speeches. You know what's at stake, Jesse. You're ready to rock and roll. This is when you prove you're the big dog. Which is pretty cool, too, because it's been a long season. And these teams obviously are both physically and mentally tired, but you're right. For this kind of game, this is the one you circled at the start of the year. You knew that this was going to matter. There was going to be a lot on the line. Now it's time to go out and prove you're the better team. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Catch in the middle. It's O'Neal. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are big for the resume. And on second down for this offense. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. How aggressive might this play call be on third and short from the 46? They'll try to run for it. At the 35, he's loose. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The Trojans want to pick up the tempo. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's O'Neal. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. The run from the shotgun. They get him on the ground. He picked up about four yards, and the ball spotted at the 10. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And the Trojans will try to pick it up on fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. This offense is stuck way back in its own end of the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Miranda. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. They're trying to get to it. What a complete disaster. What a terrible decision to run that far backwards and take the safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. They'll boot it away from their own 20 after taking the safety. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking, kicking, kicking. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. A first down for the offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Finds his man. It's O'Neal. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense.
They have a first down at the 41-yard line. To throw, it's Moss. Dumps it to the back. And the catch along the sideline will come up a little short of the first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. They'll try to get the first through the air. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. The Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. It's caught. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's O'Neal. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Pocket starts to collapse. They get it up, rush, and it pays off. Best sack at the 20. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Wants to throw on second down. Bought a little time, lets it go. Makes the grab, it's O'Neal. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Wants to throw, it's Moss. Coming after it. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Makes the grab. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Got to be smart. Patient, great vision, uses all of that to get to the 29. Typically, you only see this at the end of the game or end of a half. I'm not really sure why we're getting an early peak at victory formation. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, many thanks. Happy to provide a break in the action to kind of pour over exactly what has transpired so far. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Arizona Stadium. Arizona is set to start this second half. They'll kick it off. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. 
Discards a man. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Might as well stick with him. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. It'll be a first and ten from the 29. To the air, it's Moss. Going for it all. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll pull it on the read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they... He hurls one deep down the left side. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. And the Trojans are on the move. They'll run it from the gun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. He'll keep it himself. The Trojans get enough for the first down. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way, and they finally get him down at the two. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off on second and goal. Touchdown, Southern Cal! And the pummeling has started. I mean, the way this team has dominated this game, impressive to say the least. And it's cool now because you're kicking the credit of them so bad, you start to put the backups in and all them get to get juice and get to get some playing time, get some feel good. And the other side, well, they're just taking it right to the face. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Louisiana delivered the knockout blow early in this one. En route to the type of win that can turn some heads there in the sun belt. Trust me when I say the party is on in Lafayette. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But, boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. They need something that goes forward this time on second and long from the 14. Not a lot of room there. Give them a couple to the 16. Now facing a third and long. Back to pass. It's Fafita. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it's an incomplete pass on the deep shot, but the flag is oh, oh, down. Let's oh, check oh, the oh, call. They'll decline the penalty oh, here and oh, let the result of that oh, play stand. Oh, the Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. The offense set for a first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. Little too much juice on that one from the junior. Offense gets set for second down. He'll try to pop the draw. Makes one man miss. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. 
And the Trojans will snap it on first and ten. From the gun, the ground game. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. The Trojans will try to punch it in on first and goal. Use the play fake, now to throw. And that one sails through the back of the end zone. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. Give to the running back. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. And they'll try it again after getting nothing on second down. It's third and goal from the three. Scanning the field, it's Moss. He wants it all. Touchdown, Trojans! And the beatdown has ensued. Big-time players make big plays in big games, man. It seems like each and every week when this guy has an opportunity in the end zone, he's coming up with a big one. That time, great job focusing and concentration. Defense not able to cover him. That's his now 10th receiving touchdown on the year. On to attempt the try. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. USA 39, Arizona 0. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. On second and 10, a four wide out set trips right. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Oh, so close to paying off the tip. Really had it in his hands. And it falls incomplete. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. This has been a frustrating day. And I'm not sure it's going to get any better. You're already down huge. Listen, this offense can't protect this quarterback. They don't do anything right right now. This defense has had their number all game long. Arizona runs out the punt team. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. A low line drive and not his best work. He's going to get loose. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience of this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And the Trojans are in the red zone. Might as well give it to him again. Ooh. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, picked up two. Yeah, great job up front, great job by the back, knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling your rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. So here comes the field goal unit again. This kicker has already made three in this one. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. Splits the uprights. Good. 
And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. Lee just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Just a short pass to the tight end. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They get in the backfield and make the play, and that's how they'll finish off this third period. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. Back to throw, it's Fafita. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And they get him again. This is a offense that you expect them to protect their guy. I mean, he is a dude that you, you know if you give him time, he's going to make plays. But this defense is making sure he's not getting that time. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. That's reeled in. It's Miranda. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And that ball is picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. you got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. And, guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Leaves it with the running back. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Neutral zone. Neutral zone. Defense. Defense. defense had them backed up and then they're in the neutral zone and the offense will say thank you very much fires to the big fella and they'll bring him down but not before he picks up the first down the trojans come to the line with a new set of downs off play action on first down fires to the wide out i don't think that's the way they drew it up incomplete after the misfire now on second down Dropping back, it's Moss. Pressure coming. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. Ball 
spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Touchdown, USC! And the route is on. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. My goodness, he is putting on a laser show right now. Liner, Palmer, Pat Hayden, Marinovich, you name it. These guys are going to be looking up at this dude. Just spinning the bean all over the yard, and that's why you come to USC. Those names you mentioned, and you know that ball's going to be in your hands. You get to go make plays, and he is doing exactly that. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Temple is getting dominated today, and you know, the folks in Philly deserve better than this. No excuse ever for this kind of a cloaker. They're trailing by 30 to West Virginia. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now, and any updates, you'll see in here, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Right back up top on second and 10. He finds his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. A third and short coming from their own 20-yard line. Back to throw. It's Fafita. Looking left. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. The aerial assault continues. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And how about the hat trick? Like adding insult to injury. You got him in passing situation. You know what's coming. All I'm doing right now is trying to pad my stats and get those sacks. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. On second down, he'll let it fly. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. They're bringing heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. We've seen throughout the course of the season, defenses have had their hands full with this quarterback. He's simply one of the best in the country. But what can you say about this defense here today? They have gotten after him, registering multiple sacks, and they've never let him get into a rhythm. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. is away again. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Quick handoff. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Power football with the run. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. They'll leave it with him. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. That's a first down for the offense. They're trying to seal the edge off right tackle. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll go to the ground. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And the Trojans are moving quickly down the field. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and ten from the 30. Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. 
third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock them out of field goal range. To the air, it's Moss. Getting some heat. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. Heel goal is good. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for an open man on second down. Trying to get behind the defense. Makes the grab on the right. Can anyone catch him? And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Wildcats. Yeah, good for them. They, they put together a drive. They, they got a touchdown. It's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed, but at least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit. He'll try to tack on one more. And it's perfect. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. Looking downfield, it's Moss. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. First snap of this drive will come from their own 32. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. So much for tight formation. Smash mouth. Second and one. And they've got four receivers across the field. There to make the stop. But they use the back in the passing game to pick up the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Catch in the middle. It's Miranda. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Arizona going back to work with another first down. He's going to pass. He's got his man. They make the stop after the catch. and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll line up for a second down play. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag beside the quarterback, and this might be a roughing call. So the offense accepts the roughing the passer penalty, and they get a new set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a space. Grab behind the line. It's Conley. 
And that is how we will wrap this one up. Well, they say you win a few, you lose a few, and some get rained out. It would have been good for this team if this one had gotten rained out because they lost badly. Yeah, not a lot to be too proud about in this one here. Good news is you get to go back to the drawing board. You get to go back, you get to have another week of practice as a coaching staff, try and find ways to get players in position to go out and make plays. Going to need a big locker room speech after this one, David. Yeah, and you're going to watch this tape, and it's going to hurt because you're going to watch with the coaches, and you're going to see the mess-ups and all the things you could have done better. But you got to learn from it. you got to get better. you got to grow, and that's how that works. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College.